people. How's it going? Happy Monday. Can you believe that April is almost over and we're going into May? I absolutely cannot believe how fast this month is flying by. And hopefully that means that we'll uh, have a gym back here in a little while. I know everybody's getting really anxious and some states are pushing forward faster than others. Uh, today, with our workout, we're gonna be using a weighted stick. So if you have um, a very light um, barbell at home, or you can use a broom handle or mop handle, I'll just need you to take the ends off so that you're only using the, um, the wand part, the stick. All right, please turn on some music that you will love to, that you can get pumped up with, okay? Something that excites you. I do not have uh, rights to any of the music I play, so I have to play it very lightly. And sometimes it doesn't inspire you like it inspires me. So I encourage you just to pick the one, the stuff that you like most. Today we're going to be doing a full body workout for 30 to 35 minutes. So depending on how quickly we get through everything. Um, I always work in circuits, so my workouts are always stacked. So we're doing multiple exercises and then we work back. Sometimes what I like to do is actually change up one or two in the next circuit because it breaks up some of that muscle memory. And because we're um, sitting dormant right now and we're not actually active like we should be in our normal day, I want different muscle groups to work. And um, hi. So we're gonna get started with our warm up. Um, we're gonna do windmills. We're gonna jog in place and do high knees. We're gonna do two sets of those. And then we're going to move on to three rounds of our bar work. We're going to do some standing, some sitting. I'll be explaining how and where our bar will go and how and where you should fill the exercise. I sure hope you all can see me okay. Try to get started. Hmm? Okay, so we're going to be doing bicep curls, reverse grips uh, with a front delt raise. We're going to do overhead shoulder presses, bent over rows, this really cool rear, rear delt thing that I learned years and years ago from my girl Lori Oates when she and I used to work out together. And then we're going to do our floor chest presses with a bridge, um, which I learned from our great trainer here, Chris Johnson. So he'll be back when you guys all come back. Then we're gonna do um, three sets of abs, and then we're gonna do that circuit two to three times, depending on how much time we've got left. It is now four o'clock, it's time for us to get to work. So if you can grab your broomstick or your mop um, stick, that'd be great. It does not have to be heavy. Repetition and a concentration of that muscle is really all you need. My um, screen looks to be glitching out, so I sure hope that you guys can see me okay. Hi, Justine, I really wish you were teaching because you guys did awesome. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Let's get to our warm-ups. All right, we're gonna do windmills. So we're here and we're gonna touch the toe on each side. I want you to come all the way back up. That back does not get bent when you bend over. So nice straight back. And the hand behind you is nice and straight too. So you're reaching that one up to the sky. While the other one's coming down to the toe. We're getting the whole body loose here, just warming up. We're going to do this for a few more seconds. You should really feel that in your hamstrings, your obliques, your triceps, and your back. Reach those hands apart. Keep on going. Happy Monday, everybody. We're jogging in place. If you have knee or back issues, knee, hips, lower back, ankles, Low key. If you're more advanced, I want those knees higher, okay? I want you to really run. Keep on going, running in place. Your kids love this one, I bet. If you've got kids at home, bring them on. This one's good for them, too. Keep on going. We're only going to do two sets of our warm up because I really want to get to our work. All right, on this one, we're going to go high knees, back and forth, high knees. Get those knees up there. Wide stance. You're really working the glutes. This one's really tough for me because I didn't eat lunch. I know, bad girl. What'd you have for lunch? Tell me. Side steps. Come on, get those knees high. Ooh. 
after hiking all weekend, I'm lit. All right, back to our windmills, go. This is our second set. Push through, give me all you got. Give it to me. Go. Breathe, stay breathing. We're just warming up here. Sometimes the warm up's the hardest thing. It's that time when you're like, oh wow, I'm working out. Keep going. Reach. 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 Good. Let's go back to our jog. For those of you who would like a little bit more work on your quads, kick that foot up to the rear end. You need to get that whole leg working. For those of you, again, who have any lower body issues, this is fine. Get those arms pumping. Get that whole body working. Good. More advanced, pick it up. Come on, really strut your stuff. I'm just glad to have you guys back this Monday, the last week of the month. All right, side, high knees, go. Right after this, we're gonna grab our stick. So if you haven't done that yet, run to your janitorial closet <laughs> and get that. Go, go. Side step, side step. Really work those glutes. Good. Your bar. We're doing a bicep curl. So those hands should be just outside of our hip zone. They should be, if you were to relax your arms, that wrist should be right under your shoulder. Here, we're gonna keep that back neutral. It's not here, we're not pinching the shoulders. Neutral. What we wanna do here, it doesn't matter how heavy this is. That's what the misconception is with weightlifting, is that it matters how much weight's on your bar, it doesn't. What matters is the contraction of the muscle. So what I want you to do is squeeze your palms and lock down that bicep. Then when you pull up, your bicep should be engaged right here. It doesn't matter how fast you go because the slower you go, it's actually better. Squeeze, use your biceps. Do not raise your shoulders. Do 20. Breathe. Seven, eight. Good, keep going. Squeeze those biceps, squeeze them at the top. Two, see I'm touching my chest with this bar. That's because I'm getting a nice contraction in the bicep. Good. We're gonna go right to our next exercise, which is a front grip. So we're gonna keep this grip here. What we're gonna do is a nice soft knee. Remember all of our exercises are soft. Let's widen our, our hands just about two inches, keeping those shoulders down away from our ears. We're gonna pick that bar up straight to our nose. Palms are straight up toward the ceiling. We're gonna do 10. I hope you guys can see me because on my side, my screen is glitching out, so I hope that's not the case. Breathe. Breathe. Keep that shoulders, the shoulders down and away from your ears. We're gonna go up and overhead, so we're gonna reverse that grip. So we're gonna do the hands down. We're gonna bring that uh, stick bar over our head and behind our neck, so it's on the soft tissue behind our neck. We're gonna widen our stance a little bit here. 
soft knees. We're not sitting down, but we have nice soft knees. What we're going to do here is take the bar off the soft tissue of our neck and put it up and over. Spread the arms all the way so the arms go all the way straight. Three, four, five, six, seven, good. Eight, nine. If you can't do this right now, you've got to go to the grocery store. What's great is you can watch these videos anytime and do the video, you know, do the workouts when you're ready. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and we're gonna go into a bent over row. So here we are going to bend over. We're gonna reverse that grip again so the palms are away from us. Nice wide stance with the arms. We're going to sit back, so hinge at the hips, then sit down. That bar should be right on the outside of your knees. What I want you to do is fold your chest plate forward. Let the arms hang down. Let them relax. What you're going to do is pull through and squeeze your, your, um, your shoulder blades together. Squeeze the scapula. Should be right underneath your bra line. Six, seven, eight, squeeze at the top, nine, stay sitting deep in your hips, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Squeeze, good. We're gonna go into another rear bow exercise. This one's a little bit tricky, okay? I'm gonna tie my hair back because I can't see you when I'm bent over. And I like to see you, okay? Here we go. Here we are. Grab your water, take this time to reset. Okay, here we are with our bar. The bar is going to go behind you, so step, drop on into the floor and step to the hand that's holding it. Step back, reach, and grab so that those, that bar is right underneath your knees. You're going to sit deep in the hips. You're going to grab the bar right at the outside of your knee. What you're going to do here is round out your butt. That bar is not going to touch your rear end because you're pressing your arms straight. Seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, breathe, seven, you're using a lot of muscles, eight, nine, resting, good, drop one into the bar. Keep ripping that bar. All right, we're going to lay down on the mat. And you can't even see me because it's all the way up, right? Hi. Come on down. Hey there. Okay, here we are on the mat with our stick and our bar. What I want you to do with your hips is a bridge. So you're going to lay flat, bridge over your hips. The bar around the stick is above you. I want your wrist right over your shoulder. It should all be in line in a nice straight row. Keep that those that uh, the glutes braced up. Another way to do is down like a chest press and back up. Your elbows are going to touch the ground. So if you have to widen the grip in your bar so that your elbows are nice and parallel to the ground. Those hips up. Three. You don't need a bar. You can do this despite not having a bar. Seven. 
sitting deep underneath the heels and raise the lateral raise. What we do not want to do on the way up is round the back, okay? Sitting deep in the hips. Six, seven, eight, nine, Ten more, you've got ten more. Keep going. Ten more. Ten, ten, ten. Breathe. Good. Bent over row. Reversing the grip of the hand. Okay? Reverse it, sitting deep in the hips, roll forward, relax the hands, sitting deep in the hips. I'm sorry, let's reverse that grip. I'm totally not with it today. And pull. Pull. See, my back is nice and flat. When I come down, I let my shoulders roll all the way forward. But my back is still flat. Good. Now we're going to walk around our bar so one end goes on the ground. Woo. Tomorrow I'm going to eat lunch before I train anything. Here we are in the, in the knee pits. Our back is nice and flat, sitting deep into the glute, pushing back. All the way, come on. Two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Guess what we didn't do? Yeah. Right after our, so we're going to do it right now before we go down to the floor. We missed one, and this is bad. We've got to do this one. We're up and over. We're doing a shoulder press. Ready? Sitting deep and up and over. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. One, just a deep on those heels. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're going to go down to the floor. 
was like, I thought for sure we had six exercises, and then I started reading back on my list that I have, and I'm like, which one did we miss? Anyway, we're back on the ground, getting ready for our child class. So remember, chest, we're going to raise those hips up high. The bar or stick goes right out in front of us. The wrists are right in line with our shoulders. If you need a wider grip, what I want is the elbows to be parallel and touch the floor on both sides. Get those hips up. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now we're going to do our last set of our bar. Ready? Get some water if you need it. Okay, the weather is heating up, so you need to make sure that you take time for water. Okay? It's important that you carry your water with you everywhere, especially when the heat turns up. So don't let people laugh at you. You keep it with you. Mm. If you can spill it on yourself, that might help. Okay. Three rounds again, or this is our last of third round. So this is our total of three. If you would like a, a more aggressive workout, you can use a heavier stick, or you can also um, do more reps. Okay, do the video a couple times. We're gonna do it in sequence. Go, bicep curls. Two, three, make sure to really lock those biceps. The slower the better. Ten more. Two, three, keep that chest plate open. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Keeping this uh, this grip. Sitting deep in the hips and the heels. Lifting up to the nose. Two. Three, four, five. See where my thumbs are pointing? They're pointing out to the opposite wall. So my right thumb is pointed at the far right wall, right wall. So it's not the opposite wall. Five. My root, my delts are on fire. Now we're going right into our overhead shoulder press. So we're doing the downward grip, up and over. Pressing through, sitting deep in the heels, up and over, straight arm. Three, four, five. Don't look down, look forward. Eight, nine, ten, ten, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, good. We're delts. So we're going to do the row. Palms go away from us, sitting deep in the hips. Nice and deep. I haven't tried this yet. Boom. Can you tell which side was my surgery arm? There's one arm that doesn't behave like the other. Can you tell? Which arm did I have surgery on? Can you tell? These are great ways to build ligament strength. Squeeze. 
let's do backward. One, two, three, four, and rest. Good. We're going to take that bar behind us now. The bar goes behind our kneecaps. Remember, the palms go away from us. We're sitting deep, the bar is right behind our knees, up and over the rear end. do our Russian twists. If you um, need it to be a little bit more difficult, I can help you with that. If you have a weighted ball, you can even um, put some things in a bag. You can uh, carry a couple of canned vegetables in your hands while you're doing this. Or we have a small puppy, <laughs> a pillow would help, anything like that, even a small piece of luggage, a makeup bag. What we're gonna do here is we're sitting on the, the sit bone on our glute, and what we're gonna do here is a nice straight back by picking the feet up off the ground. We're creating the concentration of the abs. All we're gonna do here is twist to the side like we're tucking that ball in our back pocket. the Russian twist. Seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight. Keep those feet up. Four, three, two, one. Good job. Next is a ball push-up. And I'm going to have to move the screen so that we can see one another. Hi. So here we are. You can either do one side at a time or between you can switch sides. Because I have C4 through C5 issues, I'm not going to do that because I need to be stable. So this is the destabilization, but I'm not going to challenge my uh, tendons any, anyway. If you're a little bit stronger, you absolutely can. So we're in a plank or push-up position, and we have only one ball in one hand. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, switch sides. Take a deep breath. Here we are, ready? Back in your flank. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. 
We are now doing ball crunches. We're back on our sit bones. Ready, balls in front of you. Same as before, we're on the sit bone. Leaning back, kicking those feet up. Now hold for the boots over your knees. You're gonna pull in. Six, seven, back and straight. Ten, one, three, five, seven, nine, and good. We're gonna start one more session of that. So one full round of that ab workout, and you're good to go. You've done your, done it. Ready? Let's go. Really challenging you now. Good. Rest it out. On this exercise, we're going to do a ball plank instead of a ball push up. If you choose, you can do just a regular plank. If you have a ball, great. If not, again, just standing in a plank position is fine. For the rest of us that do have a ball, in the plank position on the ball. Keep that chest plate open. Don't let the shoulders fold in. Core is nice and tight. Keep those hips up. Roll those hip bones back. Don't let the sit bones fall under. Push, push, push. Good. Here we are. Back to our crunches. Your last set. Ready. Sitting down the hip bones. Roll back. Back is nice and straight. Pulling the knees in over the ball. The ball goes right over the knees. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good job. You have done it. You've done everything today. You did shoulders. You did triceps. You did rear delt, front delt, side delt. I mean, you name it, you've done it all. So if you need any more pointers, please feel free to email us at Elements Lake Tahoe at gmail.com and we'll get a workout just perfect for you while we're still in quarantine. And until we come back, we want you to stay healthy and safe. Any accounting problems, info at pnwcv.com or for more information about reopening, join us right here on Facebook. Also, we're on Instagram, Elements Lake, Lake Tahoe. So it's at Elements Lake Tahoe on Instagram. We can't wait to see you again. Stay safe and stay healthy. We'll be there soon for you, but we're here every day. Take care.